Welcome to another episode of Attorney Reacts. Nefi Lopez from the Law of Esports here to react to a couple of new videos for you guys. This one's a bit of an interesting one. It's actually a video stolen from Lackluster and reposted to a random channel on TikTok. We aren't giving the freebooter credit. Looks like somebody is getting arrested. Let's take a look. Do you have an ID on you? I don't want to question. Do you have an ID on you? I don't want to question. Sir, are you... Okay, so it looks like the video starts off with police officers immediately asking him to identify himself. It looks like this video in particular starts somewhere in the middle of the interaction with the police, but it looks like they're asking him to identify himself. And it's funny whenever cops ask, do you have a name? Obviously, he has a name, but let, let's see what happens. It looks like he's refusing to answer questions as, is his complete right? Refusing to give me your uh, name? Because if you are, I'll just take you in. Do you have a name? I don't ask the question. Do you have a name? Okay, let's go. That's fine. Okay, so we see a guy that's getting arrested. Uh, he's asking him, do you have a name? He's saying, I don't answer questions. And he's totally in the right to say that. As a citizen of this country, you don't have to identify yourself yourself under certain circumstances here obviously we don't have the context but he says come on we're going to take you in simply for failing to identify himself which as far as i know is an unlawful arrest let's see how this develops this is interesting i'm on the arrest at this point if you're refusing to give us your name Okay. If you're refusing to give us your name, you're under arrest. Do you have a name? What's your name? So he's saying he's under arrest because he's refusing to give him his name, which is crazy, right? Again, under most states, simply being on the street and a police officer asking you to identify yourself without probable cause or any suspicion, reasonable suspicion of you committing a crime, you don't have to give your name. And he's saying, give me your name. If you refuse to give me your name, you're under arrest, which is ridiculous. Give me badge number. The last. You got to come on. Let's go. Call it 7429. That's fine. Man, man, I like you too, man. You pulled me up one time and let me go, I did. man. I did. I, I remember. <laughs> it's going to be consequences. He apparently fine. remembers Bro, one of these guys. No search, what you doing? You're, under You're under arrest. You're under arrest. Okay, okay so it looks like they're going through his for? pockets. What am I under arrest for? Destruction of identity, sir. He says, obstruction of identity, which in certain states, if you commit a crime and you refuse to, I don't even think he's refused to identify. I think if you give the wrong name, that is an obstruction of identity, which again, that's that's sort of a secondary offense. You have to first commit a crime that and be charged with a crime or, or at least be under arrest for a crime and then give them a misleading or a false name with the intention to confuse the police officers, which again, you can't arrest somebody for obstruction of identity alone. Obstruction of identity, sir. That's a secondary. Seven, eight, five, that's seven. Secondary first of all, that's right. no, no, you're right. First of all, criminal trespass. He says you're right, which hardly ever happens, but he is right. How is that criminal trespass? Criminal trespass is a vehicle. You're How? right there. Oh, okay. Okay. Bro, it's, 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 at, at this point, at, at this point, they're saying he trespassed. I'm a vehicle. I, I hear you, dog. I hear you. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah. 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 I'm a public park. I mean, I'm not a vehicle. I'm a police station. I'm sorry. You're right. Jamar has now been arrested for looking through a car window. The officers tell him that he is being charged with criminal trespass of a vehicle and obstructing identification. Okay, so he was looking inside of the window of a vehicle and i think he's actually at a police station and so they're charging him with criminal trespass of a vehicle for looking inside the window of a vehicle and then also obstruction id cation illinois compiled statute okay, 720 illinois. section 21-2 defines criminal trespass to vehicles as a person who knowingly and without authority enters any part of or operates any vehicle and that's pretty Jamar consistent never with no entered states. a vehicle or even attempted to and the officer then tries to change the charge to criminal trespass of a police station but it you see cops do this all the time they are sort of caught up in the moment they know they want to arrest you they don't know why they start listing off a bunch of things you know again they're charging him with criminal trespass of a vehicle when he was simply looking inside a window which that alone typically doesn't rise to the level of trespass and i don't i say typically i don't know under what circumstances it would um it wouldn't if you ask me but they changed it i guess to trespass on police property looks like and here in this video and i think it's kind of going the, the time is off it looks like they're approaching him and he's standing on the sidewalk which again that's public property for the most part i want to say in almost every situation except under certain like post offices and and airports you know the sidewalks are oftentimes considered public property. Again, Jamar never stepped foot on the property. Section 31-4.5 yeah. defines obstructing identification. This charge is much different than the average failure or refusal to ID, as obstructing identification requires one to knowingly furnish a false or fictitious name, address, or date of birth. You see, that's what I'm talking about. Refusing to give your name is not obstruction of identification. Giving the wrong name or attempting to deceive the officer with a different name, that is, but you have to first be placed under arrest 
arrest for something else. What's, what hmm. charge? What am I being charged with? The seven twenty charge. So what's, what's the, that's a seven twenty charge. What's up, man? I like you right here, man. It's funny because if they say we already told you, but every time they list something, it's different every time, which is quite confusing. All right. Five eighty nine. You let me go that one time, bro. Uh, nice, huh? Five nine. Also, he said, I remember you, I like you, you let me go that one time. He's already said that twice. I don't know if he's talking about the guy that's arresting him or that guy that's holding the door open for him. It's kind of funny to hear hear him say that multiple times. What am I being charged with? I already explained that to you. What am I being charged with? I already explained that to you. I already explained that to you. I already explained that to you. I already explained I mean, it's a valid question. You'll get it on paper, bro. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's, it's kind of weird that they just brought him into a room. I guess they're probably doing inventory right now whenever they're taking your stuff to bag it before they book you or as they book you. But I mean, it's just it's weird how they just put him into a room in the back and then just start searching his entire person. It's 1650 on that clock. Is there anything right here? Sir, is there anything right here? Sir, you're under arrest. It's okay. over with. Okay. You can tell me I'm making a big mistake all day, but you're here. I already explained that to you. Do you have anything I need? Okay. You tell these cops are... Obviously annoyed kind of on a power trip right now. That's fine, sir. That's fine. What do you want to arrest for? Oh, yeah, I already right. explained it to you. Do me a favor. Take it. I'm going to tell you because I know you're going to ask me four more times. I'm going to ask you. You don't count. I'm on. I'm on. Criminal trespass to police vehicle. How? I'm sorry. To a police station. Not a big one. How? To police station. I'm on. So they said criminal trespass of a police vehicle. It looks like he's like, oh, I misspoke. Criminal trespass of a police station. Which, if you guys remember a few moments ago in that video, he was on the sidewalk. When you're on the, when you're on the lot, look at people's. Uh, car? Or you need to go talk to the, the, the lieutenant. That's that was the lieutenant that pulled up the car. That was the second lieutenant. So, what else you need next? Let me know. Uh, uh, the lockup. That was the lieutenant. That was the lieutenant. That was the lieutenant right there. Take your shoes off. Okay. Take your seat. Take your shoes off for him, please. I want a couple minutes. You can't come over to the police facility going through all the public property. Yeah, okay. That's I got you. Right. And he's absolutely right. Just because you're at or near a police station doesn't mean that they have all of a sudden all these special rights. Oftentimes, they're treated just like regular parking lots. If there is no reasonable expectation of privacy, then it's basically treated like everywhere else. Now, again, I'm talking about generally most police stations. There are obviously high security facilities out there where you can't just be walking through the parking lot. But here again, this guy looked like he was on the sidewalk and they're trying to charge him with trespass of police property, looks like. Is, is, is the words they keep using. You're under arrest, sir. It's not a search at this point. It's custodial inventory. I need your ja top jacket, sir. You can do it if you want to. I don't consent to those searches or seizures. Okay, that's it. Hey, man. man. This is, this okay. is not, this is not one of those things we can be doing outside. You will officially under arrest. We spoke face to face the other day. Oh, damn. And here's the deal. This is not negotiable. You're in police facility, in police custody, per state and federal law. You have. He's talking about federal law. Um, okay. I mean, if he's a municipal or like a local police officer, um, I don't know why he's citing the federal law. That's just kind of weird. I guess to sound more official. I don't know. Don't worry, Roger. Roger. Stop, stop, stop. Don't, 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 stop. All right, those are your underwear then? Okay, put it right back up. Zip it, zip it up. You're going to delay the due process. What am I being charged with? He's saying you're delaying due process. <laughs> As you're delaying due process as they arrested a guy that's at a sidewalk, apparently recording or doing something, and they're saying that you are delaying due process. Yeah, okay, Mr. Officer. So just go through the due process and let the process uh, follow its course. You have the right to do whatever you see you need to do, sue whoever you need to sue, and you take it there. But this is not going to help the process because you're not, not going to get the right time to file a suit. He's got one jumpsuit and a shirt. He can keep all of them? I'm pretty sure that ain't real, but whatever. I'm pretty sure that ain't real. I don't care, but really, to be honest, this is nothing. Man. I would think you probably got more to do than sit outside a police station. With but that show oh, they're saying his money. They don't think his money is real, <laughs> but they don't care. I mean, at this point, they're just antagonizing this poor guy. We at work, so this one for your job. No problem. Whatever. After his false arrest, the two officers took Jamar's keys and located his vehicle. Whoa! Okay, now that's crazy. Lawfully parked down the here. Let's keep watching. Cool. Lawfully parked down the street, they used his keys to make an unlawful entry of the vehicle, despite the fact that it had nothing to do with any of the false charges brought against Jamar. So l let me stop it right there. So these guys took his keys, walked apparently down the street, finding to find his car. I'm probably sure they probably used a little clicker the the to make the car honk and they searched his car 
They're arresting him for trespass. That doesn't open up the door for them to grab his keys, go to his car and search his car. And it looks like they even took property from the car. I mean, that is a huge, huge violation of, of due process, right? They keep talking about delaying due process of due process, a violation of due process. And they're they're seizing his property, right? Without a warrant. I mean, I guarantee you this was probably right after he got arrested. I mean, these cops are, I mean, I, I get it as far as whether or not they think this might be a security concern for them. If you have a guy and you're a police officer and you have somebody that's just wandering around the property, there's nothing illegal about that. I could see why they feel like kind of weird or creeped out about it, but that doesn't open the door to one, arrest them and two, go to his car and search his car when it has nothing to do with the crime that he's being charged with. And I say charged with because I don't know if that's going to stick, but wow, that's crazy. More. The officers took two phones and two computers from his vehicle without probable cause or a warrant to do so. Initially, the prosecutor refused to throw out the case. You see, and that's just, uh, you know, prosecutors that see that there's a violation of due process you got to remember a lot of these cops will go to the academy for you know i don't know six weeks 12 weeks whatever it is several months the attorneys right the prosecutors you sort of depend on them to sort of stop whenever a police officer does something they're not supposed to in this particular case these prosecutor which i'm sure probably turn this into uh, you know try to use him as an example whenever they see that they, they've done something wrong like searched a car without a warrant and then arrested somebody that isn't doing anything illegal it's up to them to stop it and the fact that they the prosecutor took the case i mean that's just that's that's bad lawyering and it's just it's sort of a being disingenuous to the to the constitution that we promised to to, to sort of uphold as attorneys and officers of the court it's crazy offering plea deals which were denied and eventually attempting to take the case all the way and just before trial the case was dismissed yeah and, and i could see that and i see that all the time prosecutors will bring really weak cases and we'll try to take a plea deal early on to sort of clean up the mess, right? Because if, you know, some people that don't have the money to fight it or don't have the knowledge or are afraid of the process will sometimes take a plea deal even though they didn't do anything wrong. I'm glad this guy stuck to his guns. And apparently, you know, the, the title of this is These Guys Just Don't Learn Lawsuit Update. I haven't heard anything about a lawsuit yet, but it looks like we're, we're working towards that territory now. A lawsuit for this incident could be in the works in the near future. But until that happens, let's return to the beginning of this video where I mentioned a civil action that was recently filed for Jamar's previous encounter with the Chicago police. To see that full story, use the link above or in the description to catch up. Hmm. So it looks like Jamar has had some prior run-ins with the police and I'm sure he's probably doing his own little investigations or I, I don't know why he's around the police and why he's had a previous incident now. But again, there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing illegal about it. You know, if, if he's been wronged by the police and he's trying to investigate and see how they react and do things that are unlawful, like arresting him whenever he's on the side sidewalk of a police station. You know, I don't blame him. I don't blame him. And it looks like he actually filed some type of civil suit against the police station. Jamar has just filed a lawsuit against three officers. I mean, it's, it's, it's crazy to see that this is happening. You know, thanks to Lackluster, another YouTube channel that kind of highlights this stuff. You know, it's crazy to see that, you know, police officers will take things, matters into their own hands whenever they shouldn't and arrest people. You, you know, you just got to be careful, know your rights, be aware of what you can and what you cannot do. And whenever I say know your rights, I don't mean just, just sit there and yell at police officers. I'm not going to talk. I know my rights. Actually know your rights and know whether or not you're doing something illegal. Okay. There's a lot of people that are like, this is public property. And sometimes it is, sometimes it isn't, you know, it's important not to allow officers to sort of abuse you and abuse your rights. This guy, you know, Jamar seemed pretty chill throughout the whole process, even though he was getting arrested unlawfully. So props to him for not, you know, kind of escalating that a little bit more. But this just goes to show you, you know, officers are going to look for any reason to arrest you and they're going to list 20 things, some of them lawful, some of them not. In this case, none of them were in my opinion, but you know, it, it happens. And this is evidence that it does. But you know, it's one of those things where, you know, you wish it didn't happen. It's just, that's what cops do sometimes. And fortunately, the, the system we have in place will protect us. You know, I'm not talking about DAs. I'm talking about taking this civilly and, and, and howing, having your case heard in front of a judge and a jury. Anyways, thank you guys for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please hit like and subscribe and, and check out some of our other videos. We've got a couple up here that you guys can click on to watch. Um, I'll see y'all on the next one. Thanks for watching. Big Verdict.